guys, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, an actual makeup tutorial, so I thought I would go ahead and do one today. Hopefully it's going to be a quick one. Say hi, baby. It is Tuesday, Tuesday Lena day. Hey. So I'm going to be using the brand new Charlotte Tilbury palette that came out. I will show it to you when I go start the video, and it's her five minute, I think, makeup look. It's like all the colors you need, everything you need, cheek, eye. Let's get started. Like always, I've got my kids in the background, so there you go. I'm going to be starting out using Max Prep and Prime for the eye base because I want this look to last all day on my eyes. I don't want to uh, have lots of creasing and things like that going on. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury box. It's a regular size palette. So it's not huge, don't expect like something massive, but uh, it's pretty good size, I would say. You can see. And let's get started. Starting with the lightest shade here, this is called the Eye Brightener. This is supposed to go all over the lid, so I'm gonna use it all over the lid. I don't know that it's really gonna do me a whole lot of good as an eye brightening because I'm so fair. I'm like unusually fair. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it. I'm gonna use a buffing brush. What is this called? It's not buffing brush. A blending brush. There we go, like a crease brush. I'm gonna pick up this second shade right here. It's kind of a champagne color. It's called Eye Enhance. And it's just gonna kind of gently go all over the eyelid. It's just the mobile part of your eye. Paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag and drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it. I'm using like a pencil brush, something that's really kind of thin and narrow at the tip. I'm going to pick up this last shade here that's called Smoke. It's just meant to define your eye just a little more. And I'm going to do it like she does in her video with uh, Pixie Woo, whatever her name is, the sisters. Anyway. And she takes that just kind of like along the lash line here. Kind of just smokes that in. Can you see how that's just right along the lash line? Give a little bit of color definition there to the eyes. Move on to foundation, and I have a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation left. It's supposed to be supposed to be uh, uh, like a full coverage foundation. You can at least build up to full coverage. I wouldn't really say that it's like seriously full coverage. If you have something like cystic acne, I would say this isn't going to work for you. But if you have discoloration that isn't um, textured, so it's not raised very much on your skin, then yeah, this might do the trick. Okay. And uh, a little does go a long way, so if you find that you're just like really piling it on and it's not working out, you need to work with your skincare. So blending this all in. I'm gonna start with my fingertips because they're warm and I'm just gonna kinda Move this around on my skin. Then I will follow up with a brush just to get a more even kind of coverage. I just want to get this kind of moved around on my skin though a little bit. If I start out with a brush, doing it with a brush, I find that um, most of the product gets absorbed into my brush. She does have a brush that she, sh that she sells with her foundation. That's like a foundation brush and I'll bet it doesn't absorb as much. Um, but I didn't want to pay you know, like $80 for one brush. Because uh, I'm not really made of money. Too bad, though. Would be cool. Okay, now using, I'm going to use this Ulta It Cosmetics brush. Like the legend of the Phoenix. Yeah. All ends with beginnings. Oh, it keeps the planet spinning. Uh, the force from the beginning. No. coverage is a little bit on a thick side and at first my skin uh, it kind of almost looks a little bit like stuck in the pores but that's where if you give it some time it'll warm up to your skin and then become really nice and then what I do is I just kind of stick some with my finger over the spots I need a, just a touch more coverage Okay, so let's get a close up here. I don't, I do not have any concealer on under my eyes. So keep that in mind, please. This is strictly just the foundation. I always do foundation first. And then I do my concealer. And I try to leave the under eye area alone. 
but this is a close-up. So here it looks almost a touch chalky, but um, wait till we're done, wait till the end of the video. We'll do another close-up and you can take a look and, it's, and it'll look more blended, a little closer to my skin. It'll look a little more light skin. For concealer today, I'll be using three different products. I'm gonna start with Physician's Formula, this little peachy one here to kind of color correct just a touch. Seriously, don't go overboard with color correction. It's really not all it's been, it's being hoop-lot up to be. Really, it's all about um, just having the right colors. There's so many products now that have great coverage, you don't need to do a ton of color correcting. It can kind of mess stuff up if you don't do it right. And then I'm gonna go in next with NARS Concealer. And then I'm just gonna kind of touch up a little bit with this super cheap Revlon Photo Ready, Ready Concealer. That's just in a skin color that's close to my skin tone. And the three of these combined are just gonna create a look that's, you know, just kind of more a little bit on the more flawless side. So here we go with concealer. <laughs> with her with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade one. Which this powder is actually really moisturizing. If you touch it with your fingers, you don't get dry. You feel it like very moisturized. This powder isn't going to dry you. Now to finish off with her palette, I'm gonna go back in with smoke under the eye, just like I said, using the same brush I used before, just like getting a touch on my brush here and getting really up close. I'm gonna try and stick right to the lash line. One more time. Especially during the day, I like to have a really bright eyed, kind of wide awake look. So I'm gonna use NYX's Wonder Pencil. I use this all the time. This is in their lightest shade. I believe they have three colors of shades. Uh, and so I'm just gonna pop this on my waterline underneath to really brighten it up. So I will show you. That will focus. There we go. Come on, focus. I'm seriously using the camera's image to like see where to put this. That's not really working out. So I popped some of that on the waterline underneath my lower lash line and then I just went ahead over the top and I just did a little bit of brown eyeliner. So if you can see kind of how the look is kind of coming together. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish this off. Right now I look a little ghost-like and that's just because, well, probably a little ghost -like. I don't have any colors yet on my cheeks, so let's go ahead and get going with the cheeks. This is by um, Real Techniques, Nick and Sam. Those are the Pixie Woo girls. Anyway, this is their uh, contour brush. I'm going to be using the it says face. It says bronze. It says bronze on it, but that's a little bit of a misleading situation because you should never use a bronzer in the hollows of your cheek as a contour. Bronzers are too orange. Um, this really should be called contour or something. So anyway, here we go. Suck in, she says, and follow the hollow. So we're gonna do just that. I hope this dream comes true. For this color and her highlighter alone, it is worth this palette. The other colors are kind of like a bonus purchase. So um, just something I thought I'd throw out there. Those two colors are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna use my blush brush here and I'm gonna pop it into the highlight shade over here. Just kind of two strokes like that, and just right here on this C shape here. I hope this dream comes true. Ooh, one more time. Hey, we're gonna celebrate. She's got a swish and a pop, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna go kind of just lightly dab it there. That's meant to be placed right above kind of where that bronzer area was that you put your um, contour and in between that and where you put your highlighter like this. Let's do the other side. And then this little cheek pop part here, you just take your brush and you're just going to pop that very tip of it in there and find your little smiley spot. You smile your little cheek part. And go like this. I'm so glad that Charlotte has done this because seriously, for the longest time, I thought I was the only one. For the longest time, I was applying two different cheek colors to my face and to clients' faces because I totally understand that um, our natural cheek color, when we're kind of like flushed or we're just naturally kind of 
Um, it's not all one color. We're not a solid like pink color or a solid red color from the start to the back. Uh, it's very um, two, three toned. So I'm going to just go back in with this contour brush. I'm going to sweep just a little bit more of this um, kind of contouring color, just a little bit uh, along my jawline, just to kind of tie those colors in. And I'm really not using very much, especially because this is during the day. And then right here on my little turkey gobble. finishing spray so you can see how that'll just tie all this foundation and all this glowiness and goodness in together. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I popped on some mascara and some lips and I gotta go because my husband just showed up and we got to go to preschool. But anyway, here's the finished look. It's a very kind of like a doll kind of look. It's very natural. So anyway, I figured out my nude lips. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and we can talk about that more a little bit later. So anyway, that was Charlotte Tilbury's full of face. The only thing I used that wasn't Charlotte Tilbury was um, my lip gloss, but lip liner is also from her. Um, and I used her mascara. I also used another mascara to kind of help this one move along. But other than that, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Close the door.